What's good guys, it's Ryan's Rides. I am inside one of our used 2015 Maserati Ghibli SQ4s. What I read, and I'm opening up the um, sunroof here so we can get a little bit more light. I read that there was some kind of secret menu hidden in the Maserati Ghibli. Um, not sure if I'm supposed to know this at all or whatnot, but it was on public forums. Um, and it was a very vague post that there is a hidden menu on the Uconnect system here for the Maserati Ghibli. Now, it's for the old system, I believe. If you guys have some of the newer cars, maybe you can try them out, or maybe I'll try it out on the newer systems, um, the newer Maserati touch control systems. This is the older version, okay? Or <laughs> the older version. The older version of the Uconnect system. Uh, but what it is, is you hold the um, AC up, AC down, or HVAC up HVAC down with the defrost button and it takes you to some kind of like I don't know secret kind of menu I don't we're gonna try it so I'm gonna turn turn the car on not completely start it all the way um, you're gonna hear the air on I'm gonna try to do this with one hand because uh, I need to do I need to do these two and here okay so I'm gonna see if we can get this on camera here oh man that's gonna be hard Maybe I can set the camera down. See how well you guys can see it from here. Okay, so you see what, right off the back, you see what the Maserati Touch Control looks like, okay? Um, I press this and it puts it up. I press this and it puts it down, okay? And then you have that here. So I'm not doing any kind of tricks, okay? So let's see if I can do this. Okay, here we go. I might be able to do it this way. So you're supposed to hold all three of these down for five seconds at the same time. Five seconds. I'm holding it down. And look, okay, so now we're in what is called dealer, dealer mode, um, which has a bunch of info on here that is about, I'm assuming, this car. And maybe this is a way you are looking at things that um, your, your service tech would look at. Um, but very interesting, you have radio part info, um, SDAR info, um, I mean, copy user data, I don't know what that means, grace note, um, restore user data, Garmin recovery update, navigation, um, DAB tuner firmware version. So this might be stuff to reset a lot of these things or for troubleshooting. Um, like I said, this is something, oh, let me close the door because all these beeps. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this may be something that it's you know you you can do to reset things or for troubleshooting i'm not exactly sure i'm not exactly sure if i'm supposed to be showing you this but like i said it's public information on the forums that's how i found it if i go into radio part info okay so yeah you're looking at a lot of information about this radio i mean serial number serial number cd dvd um it doesn't scroll down or anything um back we'll go back uh, let's see what this SDAR info is. Uh, firmware, Sirius ID, radio subscription, travel link, uh, stuff like that. Uh, let's go back, see if, what this grace note is, because I was curious about that. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, I'm very, I'm very na uh, naive, ignorant to this, uh, just because I'm not exactly sure what this stuff means. Um, so yeah, this is. Garmin recovery, okay, please insert USB. Uh, copy user data, let's try that. Uh, no, I don't wanna do that because I'm not exactly sure what that's doing. Navigation, um, I mean, tons of stuff here. I'm not exactly sure what all this is for, but yeah. So just taking a closer look at this stuff. If you guys know anything about it, like I said, a lot of it seems like radio and firmware and stuff like that. Um, you know, the navigation, serial numbers, and map version 2015 because it's a 2015 model. It just seems like user data. Um, it doesn't seem like you can do much with it um, besides the copy user data and restore user data. Um, but this may be helpful for some people, um, you know, if you need to find out certain information about the car and the parts and, um, you know, the models and serial numbers and stuff like that. Uh, this may be something that you might be interested in. Like I said, I, I saw this on a forum, it was very vague. They didn't know much about it as well, so I'm putting it on camera to see if you guys in the comments might be able to make sense of this. 
Um, so if so, let me know. I'm, I'm not gonna ask people here because there's no fun that way. I'd rather just talk to you guys about it, um, you know, and see if anybody knows more than maybe even the text here. So comment down below what you guys know about this secret menu on the Maserati uh, Ghibli uh, user interface. It probably isn't just for the older models. It might be for the newer Maserati touch control models. Who knows? The thing with that is the toggles are different. It's the toggle up and down. So you can't hold it at the same time like you could with this one. You can hold two buttons to where the um, HVAC controls here are a toggle up, toggle down. You can't do both at the same time. So maybe it's just for these models. I'm not exactly sure. But let me know what you guys think about this secret menu and really what it's used for. Is it just for our techs? Um, is it for you to get user data from? If it's a hack that's already been out there and in a user manual, something I don't know about. I'm curious to find out, but hopefully you learned something today. If you did, give the video a like. Definitely comment down below what you think about this little um, hidden system. And subscribe for more Maserati Alfa Romeo videos such as this one. With that said, this has been Ron's Rides. You guys take care. Be blessed. Talk to you in the next video. Peace.